I think you just summed it up. <laughs> yeah, that was like, guys, if you want to come sit down, there's plenty of chairs. I promise, I will not hadoke in anyone. <laughs> we can still in these chairs, you don't have to stand. It's Sunday, but so let's, let's play the game Clearly. of which chair will squeak. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that's the Okay. Bring the microphone down. So, now that we're firmly entrenched in horror, why don't we go ahead and bring up another one? Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to bring the volume on the video a little bit. Yeah, well, I'm trying not to have the video play over us talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a few people already know. I'm glad if I could. Pet shop of horror. Came out in 1999. Uh, yeah, there's definitely manga of it. I've seen it in the dealer's room. It is there. It is awesome. Uh, the anime itself only had four episodes. Uh, let's see. The main character of the series, I don't know if you can really call him a protagonist or an antagonist, Count D. He runs a pet shop. And by that I don't mean an armory that's guys of a pet shop. I mean, this whole thing is this weird pet shop. Uh, selling personified desires as pets to every misfit in society. Uh, basically, he sold something to this woman who refused to believe that her weak will cause her daughter to become a drug addict. Um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He makes them sign really easy contracts. Really easy to break contracts. <laughs> Whoops. And if you break them, it's not like, now don't do that again. No, it's, it, it's, it's stuff that Ghostbusters can't fix. <laughs> um, yeah, and then, you know, af after a while, you have a cop, Leon, who's basically every American stereotype personified. Priscilla. Yeah. Yeah. With a little bit of uh, probably Sylvester Stallone thrown in, but he's long. Not me. Uh, he's convinced Count B is up to something, but the Count's just like, hey, come on, it's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. It's fine. So yeah, uh, basically, a quick way to think about this is think Gremlins meets Chinatown meets anime. <laughs> Uh, there's definitely a lot of horror aspects in this. Um, there's almost no love for the series that I've seen as far as people around. Like, if you mention it, yeah, you'll get a few people to be like, as we had earlier, to be like, oh my god. But most people don't know about it because it was so underrated. Which, it's it's sad. Sad. It has to happen when the show only had like so few episodes that happened. I noticed we have a question. So, actually, Danny can tell. He's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much, uh, thankfully, there's no link statue following you around afterwards. Let me do a quick okay? Who here has watched Hell Girl? Yep. Then you'll like this. 